Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good morning. Thank you for joining us here in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. Talk about two of my favorite rooms, the kitchen and bath. Let's do this. Yeah. What would you like to know? How to make it safer. <laughs> safer is a big deal. Um, the product I'm standing in front of right now actually is a product from 3M, and it's something I'm really proud of to be actually affiliated with. And it goes, it works in both rooms. There's your kitchen and bath tie-in. Um, it's a water filtration system that actually gives you access to clean healthy drinking water because it takes out the chlorine flavor, the chlorine smell, it takes out the microbial cysts, all the nasty stuff that might make us sick in the water. But the big deal with this is that it does remove 99.3% of the lead that might be in your drinking water, which we know right now nationwide and what's going on with Flint is a huge, huge deal. So 3M stepped up and responded to this. Super easy to install. Once it's in, it's good for six months. It's a filter that pops out with a quarter turn, you just do this, boom, boom, and it's gone. And it's 25 to 30 cents a day for fresh, clean drinking water. It's something that everyone should have. So that's, there's one that works in both rooms. You want, you want this, in, you might even want one of these in your bathroom too. It's ingesting that lead water that kind of is what makes us sick, especially for kids. So to be able to put it in your bathroom where your kids are getting up in the middle of the night and getting a drink or brushing their teeth, or you're giving your dog water, or you're making baby formula, any of that kind of stuff. That's that's where this thing steps up. Which I so think wherever is very, very there's cool. human, wherever there's consumption, it we should have one. Consumption is where the lead in our water makes us sick. It's not about getting it on our skin in the shower. It's really not about that. It's about the prolonged effects of having it in our system, and it's especially the children are the most vulnerable to this. That's where we're seeing the developmental issues and things like that. So, it's a huge deal, and it's only gonna. It's only Flint is only a part of it. Flint is what's getting all the attention. There have been 2,000 cases cited nationwide since Flint that were, and schools are now mandating, New York State, where I'm at right now, is, is mandating that schools be tested for lending their drinking water. It's something that's going to become a bigger and bigger issue. So, again, just really proud to be a part of that. I'm glad that we've got something that's affordable to people because you said only children, but when you're you have aged parents Correct. that is a concern also too matt it is and it makes us it makes us sick it, it it affects our kidneys it's a toxin in our system that we've got to battle and i think that that if we do we do have an aging society the boomers are getting up there aren't they and and i think that that's and it's something that's so simple everyone should have access to clean safe drinking water it seems so fundamental and in certain parts of the country right now it's not and um it's hard to imagine not being able to just boil a pot of water and make pasta without having to empty four bottles <laughs> into a pot. So uh, I, th I think it's a really big deal and it's a really, I think it's a huge uh, product that's going to be, that's hitting the system, hitting the stores nationwide right now. I want my audience to know that Matt Munster is a TV host, designer, and a licensed contract and sharing his safety tips for the most to use rooms in the house, the yeah. kitchen, and the bathroom. What else do you have, Matt? So in the bathroom, that's my area of expertise. That's the show I host. Um, little <laughs> stuff. And, it, and it's simple stuff that we may not think about every day, but that's a room where we're, we're you know, we got wet feet, we got bare feet, and getting in and out of a shower, things like that. Anytime we can, speaking of an aging population, but heck, I'm almost 40. I can fall down just as easily in a bathroom as anyone else. So choosing a tile if we're going to do a renovation that's got a little bit of a surface texture to it that keeps us from falling down. Or even choosing, I know the trend right now is larger tiles, which means less grout. But you know what? Grout does keep us from falling down in a bathroom. It gives us a little bit of, of a grip. So it's certain things like that in a bathroom that can lead to a safer space. Kitchen's not immune to making a poor floor de flooring decision either. 
um, tile, hardwood are the materials that we see most likely in a kitchen floor installation. But if you can open your mind to f a, a product like cork, or I'm gonna tell you right now, vinyl isn't a dirty word anymore. Luxury vinyl tile is, is a material selection that we make now, and it's beautiful. And it's a little bit softer underfoot. It's not gonna wear on that lower back when you're standing on a hard surface all day. And if you drop something, you get a chance of, being, of it not breaking. You can bend over and pick it up and use it again. So if you're, if you're a klutz in the kitchen, it's not a bad idea to have either. That's interesting, Matt, because I watch a lot of designer shows and no one's talking about tile. They're talking about mostly hardwoods. They are, and hardwood's better than tile. It's that you know, ceramic on glass collision that will shatter everything. But cork is a really cool product. Cork is a little bit softer underfoot. It's not a bulletin board. We're not worried about soaking up. You spill anything and have to worry about it. It's softer underfoot. It's an eco-friendly product. Cork is actually just the bark of a cork tree. It's not the cork tree itself. So they strip the bark off the tree. The bark grows back, and we can go get it again. We don't really, there's cork trees that have been alive for over 500 years. So it's a really renewable resource, and that's a big deal, too. If we're not doing something that's eco-friendly and renewable in any project we're doing around the house, we're not trying hard enough. You All something. right, Matt. Do you have one more for us? Sure. Cool one. How about in the bathroom? You're getting up in the middle of the night and taking care of business. And that can be a, 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 an interesting path sometimes in the dark. So that little toe kick underneath your vanity in your bathroom is a great spot for some LED strip lighting. We do it a lot in our renovations where we put some LED lighting under there. And instead of hooking up to a switch, we hook it up to a motion sensor. So as you wander into that space in the middle of the night, that thing kicks on and you've got a nicely lit path to take care of business without blasting your rods and cones out by turning all the lights on. <laughs> I love that. That's a great idea, Matt. Thank you. That is. It really is. These ideas, where can my audience go and be inspired by them? Well, watch my show, for one. Bath Crashers <laughs> on HGTV and DIY. But all the stuff we talked about, including this water filter, is available nationwide, any Lowe's or at Lowe's.com. All right. you got to come back because i got to talk about the kitchen next time. Thanks, Absolutely. Matt. I really appreciate it.